Hi everyone and I'm going to start today's sketchbook tour of the Arctic with this great painting by Martin Watson. He was a he's a Norwegian and he painted this in Longyearbyen on the uh, on the wall of the supermarket. Really ionic painting recognized by all. And uh, this is me on uh, at the back of the ship outside doing some of the sketching and um, not forgetting Antarctica where I have a new ebook out so the link of that is down below but let's get started with this sketchbook tour. I just thought I'd do a flip through of some of my Arctic sketches because I think you've seen the Antarctic sketches and uh, what I've used here is this little mole skin it's sort of a A4. This is um, a Stratford book, which I'll get into later. A little bit bigger, and this is the moleskin. But I'm going to start here in Norway as we were making our way up the coast. Um, often I just had a few minutes to put something down, so very much a quick ink drawing and then a bit of a, a, a watercolour wash. So Flom, where they have the railway that goes right up the mountains, absolutely gorgeous and uh, Trondheim, the old museum. Nusford in uh, Lofortens is one of my favorite places. Almost the whole town is a museum and the most wonderful little restaurant in the gorgeous views all around. And up here, at hundreds of um, little kitty wakes uh, nesting on the windowsills and on top of the roof. Really, very special place. Also very typical Norwegian. The houses up in the Lofortens, Svartisen Glacier, and we hiked all the way up here to the top. And uh, some of the wild flowers that were around there. A Viking Museum, this is one of these old long boat Viking houses where everyone lived inside with their animals and everything. And it's a long, long building. It's built as a museum. Really, really special to see. And then coming up into uh, the snow and ice up in the Arctic. So very, very special scenery. My first attempt at that time on a polar bear. I was quite happy with it. And painting on sea ice here, we actually uh, put the, the zodiacs up on the ice and then everyone got out. It was a big solid... Uh, safe piece of ice otherwise we would never do it and then everyone could walk around and I stood over here and I did some sketching so first ever sketching on a piece of floating ice and this was the 14th of July bay on uh, up on the west coast of Spitsbergen zodiacs coming in and this was actually up in Iceland um, at a conference and we went to some hot springs and we um, got quite a nice hike and then we swam over here. Also an attempt of the uh, geysers, some of the places in Iceland. And uh, this is the most wonderful beach, just not far. It's on the Golden Triangle, I think it is. It's like a tour you can do. And this was a blustery, windy day, but I stood in this sort of like a little cave type of thing and I did. I did the sketch and the most gorgeous, gorgeous waterfalls. Um, okay, that one is goes up into Argentina, so I will now go to this one. In fact, this is this is a oh here we are. This is a gorgeous book. It's a Strathmore and it's three hundred gram. Absolutely stunning. So uh, Spitsbergen, Svalbard, Longyearbyen. Longyearbyen is the capital. And there is this bear that's painted on the side of the uh, supermarket, but it's like super, super cool bear. So I thought I'd, I'd start my book with that. And uh, my accommodation was up here on the hill, and then we had to walk down into town. This is called the Cold Miners Cabins in Longyearbyen. So the bears do actually come into town sometimes, so we do, do have to be careful. Uh, Camp Miller, uh, really huge colony of little orcs up here just hundreds of thousands fantastic to sit up here and um all the way along this this area and all you hear is birds 
um, calling. It's it's absolutely amazing. And the Hinlopen Strait. This was as we were leaving the harbour. Gorgeous view, backdrop. Uh, it was very muddy shore here when we did our walk, um, but beautiful flowers just up, up on the hill. Zorgfjord, also in Hinlopen Strait. A very interesting old trapper's hut. Uh, some lovely old logs sort of lying here. And then when you go up to the, the top here is, um, there were a whole lot of graves. Uh, very, very interesting. Um, some sort of battle took part uh, over here between the Dutch and the French all those years ago. The only sad thing here is that a lot of uh, debris gets washed up through the current from Russia and it comes and gets washed up here. So we we always have a clean up day that we take as much as we can off, especially this beach over here and uh, all kinds of plastic crates and buoys and, um, you know, it's the plastic we want to try and get rid of. And we take it back to the ship and then back to Longyearbyen and they get rid of it over there. So we help clean the, clean the area. Also out at sea, in the sea ice, here 80 degrees north. Uh, very, very special. Uh, I think I was just about the only one out here. Um, pretty cold. Gorgeous light. And then they have walrus everywhere. Uh, they, they're just wonderful to watch. They've got so much character. They're actually extremely ugly, ugly, but extremely beautiful at the same time. And smelly. Oh my gosh, are they smelly? Uh, but... This was in North Osland, a uh, really lovely part of uh, Svalbard. Kapli, looking down on the in the old little trapper's huts. Also some walrus over here. The landing was on this other side. Can get really rough here. <laughs> I remember a time when we had to get sort of almost waist length in water to catch the boats. boats. Obviously we have the proper gear on. So um, I can get very... Uh, very rough very quickly lots of reindeer around as well and and um uh whales beluga whales over here uh, very very often so i don't always have time to do um put in the watercolor so naladen this is a bird cliff here full of uh kitty wakes and it just just unbelievable the sound and then you have these little arctic foxes that run around and um, and look for eggs or dead birds or that sort of thing chicks maybe and we had a polar bear that came in on the shore while we were away uh, while we were ashore or tried to get ashore and it was quite uh, exciting stuff but uh, scary as well because you've got to be really careful but the scouts you know, really took care of us. They all had flare guns and everything to to try and chase him away. Texas Bar, yeah, very unusual name for for way up uh, north in Spitsbergen. And um, views are just gorgeous this way and the other way. Really lovely. So this is where we come in. And Nealison, this is a research station. A lot of different countries have the little research base over here. So I just took a few shots and a few uh, stamps of the different uh, research station. Monaco Brian, beautiful views again. Lovely hike up here, stunning little flowers. Very, very special. And this is Bamsebu. And so here are some boats and the little trappers huts over here and then we would uh, the guests would walk, walk and hike all the way here and then we'd come with the zodiacs and come and collect them often there's some nice little harbor seals over here and now Ni london this is opposite uh, now alicent uh, here they try to start a mine a marble mine very very long ago well you know in the 1800s and uh, then the quality wasn't good enough but very interesting to walk around here lots of little flowers uh, great little walks up here in this area 
again Naladen because we often go to the same places um, more than once as in if it was a, you know once the guests have left and we get a new guest and we go up again then we we might go to the same place but it's always different as you can see and then this is when I, we arrived uh, in Greenland very uh, uh, unusual scenery absolutely gorgeous and Itikotumit in Greenland a little community beautiful little colorful houses uh, very friendly and a great walk around town and then Iceland again uh, Reykjavik raining often quite like to take little snippets of what I see and put them in this is such a special sculpture that's on the shore really really gorgeous and yeah that is that is it for my arctic sketchbook tour and i'll show you something else next time i hope you enjoyed it and just the last pic of me sketching on sea ice very strange to be standing on ice and actually doing some some sketching and I normally have to decorate um, a nautical sea chart uh, when I'm on, on the ship which gets uh, raffled off for charity and these Brunis uh, guillemots were just in a highlight in the Arctic. And in the description below I will have details of the materials I used, the sketchbooks and the sketchbooks I used. Okay, till next time, cheers!